One of the biggest problems that graziers have to face is just managing the variability between years in rainfall. So they're faced with years where they've got feed to feed the animals, and then it could be followed by a sequence of years with very low rainfall and very little feed on the ground. So they've got to try and manage that grass and also try and remain economically viable. Before we started the trial, there's obviously a lot of advice about how people should manage country, that they should apply conservative stocking rates or they should vary their stock numbers with seasons. But there is virtually no hard data on which grazers could base their decision making. And I mean, these were serious decisions about their future profitability and about the land condition. So we decided to start the trial to actually compare different strategies to manage for that rainfall variability, do it all in one place over a long time to get hard data that managers could use to work out how to manage their country. The trial's been running for 23 years. We set the trial up in 1997, which was soon after a major drought in the early 90s. This year in 2020, it's the 23rd season that we've had at the trial. As you can see behind me, things aren't looking that great. This is the seventh below average rainfall year, and so very dry. And we're really hoping for a good break in the season and a sequence of good years to get things improving again. At the moment, we're comparing five different grazing treatments or strategies. They're slightly different from the ones that we began with because over time, we've learned that we've had to adjust them as we've learned how to manage better for the seasons. So the current strategies are just simply heavy stocking, which is run at about twice the long-term carrying capacity of the country, then moderate stocking at the long-term carrying capacity of the country, and then there's a third strategy, which is moderate stocking with wet season spelling. Then the other two strategies involve adjusting stock numbers from year to year based on how much rain has fallen and also what the seasonal forecasts are doing. And that's termed flexible stocking. We know that wet season spelling is very important. So our final strategy is flexible stocking with wet season spelling. The evidence at the moment is that's probably the best way to manage this country. Some of the key findings are that in terms of the animal production, you get better individual animal production with more moderate stocking rates, that is around long-term carrying capacity. They grow faster, they put on more weight, and they get better grades and prices at the meatworks. But conversely, you tend to get more beef production per hectare at the heavier stocking rates. But the catch is the economics of running heavy stocking rates are way behind that of flexible stocking or running at a moderate rate. So over the 23 years, the average gross margin per hectare on the trial for heavy stocking is about $7 per hectare on average. But if you compare that to the other strategies, they're running at $13 to $14 per hectare. So that's almost double. And the reason for that is that you've got much higher costs with heavy stocking rates because of the costs of drought feeding, because you get a reduced product price at the meatworks, and also because there's more money invested in livestock capital and having more of those animals. Heavy stocking is certainly not sustainable in the long term. And we found we've had to cut the numbers drastically over time. We found the resilience to drought and to dry years has really declined. And that the slightest dry year now, we're starting to have to reduce stock rates under heavy stocking. The way to go is to use your long-term carrying capacity as your standard to basically stock around there, but you definitely have to adjust your numbers from year to year. We're simply finding that sticking at a long-term carrying capacity is also not the way to go. You have to adjust with those poorer seasons and as, as you run into droughts. I think the key recommendation would be flexible stocking around your long-term carrying capacity reducing numbers very quickly when droughts are on the horizon, building those numbers up slowly in the better seasons, and importantly, having wet season spelling as part of the strategy. Based on the data that we've collected on the trial, and importantly, on our experience that we've learned from graziers in managing these strategies over the 23 years, I think there are five simple steps that you need to take to manage for climate variability. 
The first one is to stock around the long-term carrying capacity. It's not something that you stick rigidly to. Secondly, it's to adjust stocking rates with the seasons. Thirdly, those adjustments need to be done in a risk-averse fashion, so fast decreases in dry years, slow build-ups in wetter years. And the fourth one is wet season spelling. In this type of country, you also need to have fire occasionally to control the balance between the bush and the grasses. But the key thing is you've got to apply them adaptively. You've got to be monitoring and watching what's happening, and you've got to adjust your management as you go along from what you've learned. And that's what we've certainly learned in the trial is you have to adjust as you learn and as conditions change. To find out more, go to futurebeef.com.au.